Hello friends, welcome back to all of you on your channel on JE Physics Miniac. As I have promised in the last lecture that I will come with some real weird stuffs regarding springs. And uh, hence I have started this series today. It will go on. It will take around 3-4 uh, lectures. I will take 3-4 different cases. Maybe more than that if time permits. And I repeat once again, the idea is that, that I have to take you through the guided tour of revision of these topics that you have studied in class 11 which will be helpful for you for J advanced exam and at the same time the students who are freshly preparing for class 11 seriously contending for the top spot in J advanced can also go through this so without wasting much time let us move so here uh, let us first narrate the question what they are saying now i will discuss the crux and fundamental of the question calculation part i will leave up to you although i have tried to make as much as possible uh, but the ultimate answer, I will leave it up to you and do let me know your final answer on the comment box. Anyway, so the two springs each of stiffness k equal to 1.2 kN per meter of equal length and undeformed when theta equal to 0 degree. So when the system, I mean, the, the balls are like this and this is like this, then the springs are undeformed, not in the current scenario, because here there is a finite value of theta that you can see. Anyway, so uh, if the mechanism is released from rest in position from theta equal to 30 degrees, so when they are released from theta equal to 30 degrees, it is released from rest. That means no such balls will have any kinetic energy whatsoever, but the springs are in deformed state. They are not in undeformed state, right? They are asking find the angular velocity theta dot when theta equal to zero means the system will try to come back to the original configuration. And in that process, why it will come? Because you can understand that this this spring is compressed so it will apply some spring force in that direction this spring is elongated so it will apply some spring force in that direction as a result this will try to rotate and because of that each and every ball will develop some angular velocity and they are asking what is that angular velocity that will be developed in the subsequent process no problem so first let us come to this diagram that i have made over here it's quite easy if this angle is theta equal to 30 degree so this total angle is 90 degree it's quite easily understandable you can check this angle is 90 degree right so if that angle is 90 degree then this angle alpha that i have taken alpha is simply equal to what alpha will be equal to um, that i have written over here you can check that 90 degree minus 30 degree that is 60 and similarly the angle beta will be equal to 90 plus 30 that will be 120 degree there is no harm whatsoever now i will try to figure out this deformed length of the two springs x1 and x2 correct so if i want to calculate the x1 simple trigonometry i will follow up check color if i drop the perpendicular here so it is getting bisected so this x1 will be equal to if i take this as r this is r this is also r and this is also r all right fine so if I take that angle as this 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 side length as r, then this is alpha by 2, right? This is also alpha by 2. So this is r sin alpha by 2. This is also r sin alpha by 2. So total will become x1 is equal to 2r sin alpha by 2. I hope it is visible to you. 2r sin alpha by 2, right? Similarly, this x2 also I can do in the similar fashion. I will just drop a perpendicular over here. Then this will be beta by 2 and this will also be beta by 2 and as a result this perpendicular distance will become r sin beta by 2 this is also r sin beta by 2 so x2 is equal to 2 r sin beta by 2 all right fine so from there substituting the values as it is given in the question that uh, r is equal to 0.25 meter so i'm just substituting so here we are getting x1 is equal to 0.25 meter and x2 is equal to sorry x2 is equal to 0.25 root 3 meter so that's the initial situation the values that we have calculated now let us move on when the situation becomes theta equal to zero degree so this is the setup that you are saying when theta will become zero degree these two balls are horizontal and this is exactly vertical now it is quite easy to calculate as per the demand of the question they have said here you can check that equal length the springs are unequal the springs are carrying equal length when they are undeformed so here i can write comfortably that uh, these two are equal values so this has to be equal to this so l1 is simply r root 2 l2 is also equal to r root 2 because this is radius this is radius so this is r root 2 and l2 is also equal to r root 2 so when we got the value of l1 and l2 and these are the undeformed values right and here we got x1 and x2 x1 is the compressed value x2 is the elongated value x1 is the compressed value x2 is the elongated value 
So from there, I can calculate the corresponding compression or elongation in the spring. Like compression in spring 1 will become L1 minus X1. So this is the compression in the spring. I hope it is clear to you. And in similar fashion, elongation in spring 2 will become X2 minus L2 and X2 prime will become this one. I'm sorry. Just uh, take. let me take a different color. Yeah. So this is... This is the elongation in spring 2. Again, I repeat. So this is the compression and this is the elongation, right? So this part is over. Now, when this part is over, you try to understand what will happen here. Only two forces are acting, effective forces, which are doing the work. One is spring force, another is force due to gravity. Both of them are conservative forces. So as conservative forces are acting, total mechanical energy of the system will be conserved. Now. What, let us calculate the initial energy of the system. So initial energy I have written EI is equal to KI plus EY as the system was released from rest. So this value KI will be equal to zero. Only EY will survive. Now let us focus on EY. EY is equal to what? See if this angle is theta, you note it here. If this is theta, this is also theta, right? So if I take this red line as the reference level, this I am taking as reference level if this is the reference level then what is this value coming this value will simply come to be r cos theta now if potential energy is zero gravitational potential energy is zero along this line so potential energy for this ball is negative so that will become how much this will become minus mg into r cos theta so gravitational potential energy is over you will say what about these two balls sir it's very easy see what beautiful way these problems are designed actually. See, for this potential energy is positive as it is above the reference line. For this potential energy is negative as it is below the reference line. This angle is theta, this angle is also theta. So potential energy for these two will cancel each other. If it is plus u, this is minus u, this add to be zero. So they will not contribute to the term of gravitational potential energy. Let's think about the spring potential energy. Very simple, plus half k1 x1 prime square plus half k2 x2 prime square fine there is no problem in it and as they have mentioned k1 is equal to k2 so i will simply write ei is equal to minus mg into r cos theta plus half of k into x1 prime whole square plus x2 prime whole square so that's the initial total energy of the system what about the final situation in final situation you see that since all the bodies are connected so each and every single body will have the same velocity along the tangent of the circle like this and i hope this is this is not very difficult to understand the kind of this this is v this is also v and this is also v at this instant right and this v value i can simply write r into omega this is also very easy to understand so that means this has now i will take the same situation as this as reference level which was there earlier so for that only we will have the potential energy because other two are lying on this reference line itself so no potential energy gravitational potential energy so now final i will write now as e final is equal to minus of mgr gravitational potential energy part is over plus spring potential energy is zero because the springs are now relaxed and this half m into r omega square this is half mv square into three for all three we will have now from the conservation of energy so from conservation of energy we will write an energy means you're talking about mechanical energy Kya minus mg r cos theta plus half of k into x1 prime square plus x2 prime square is equal to minus of mg r plus half m into r omega whole square into 3. All the values are known to you now. Every single values are known to you. So when you know all the values over here, it is very easy to calculate the value of omega from this question. So I hope you have enjoyed this. This is a very different kind of question to that what we have solved till now. 
so i hope it has also made uh, things clear how to visualize see these questions are seemingly difficult but the moment you try to analyze they are not that much difficult correct so i will come up with uh, more four or five different such kind of set so till that time bye bye do like subscribe subscribe and uh, uh, leave any suggestion or feedback if you have and again thanks all for being with me for such a long time i will try to serve you better thank you